but what we're seeing is is that if an employee's had a work comp case uh, in the past, and then therefore they 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 had no call no show for three weeks, uh, and they are terminated because that's company policy, they can go back and say, oh, and by the way, I had a work comp case that contributed to my discharge. And so the point of that is to say, no, it ha you have to be motivated. It has to be motivated by the discharge as opposed to any contributing part because an, a disgruntled employee would go back and say, I'll go get an attorney because we'll probably get some money out of this. If I follow the paperwork under the current scenario, if you've had a work comp case and you were terminated for cause, contributing allows for that frivolous lawsuit to occur where an individual goes, gets an attorney, files the paperwork, and then employers are forced to, to basically settle because it's cheaper to settle than it is to fight uh, this case in court because litigation is very expensive. And that's why we're trying to put this to, to a point where if you really have a cause of action and it's motivated by a, a work comp case, that needs to be the reason why you would bring it forward, not because you're disgruntled and I did have a work comp case and then all of a sudden my actions led me to be discharged. And so that's why we believe that the language motivating factor is, is better. It's not exactly where I would like to have it, but it does make sure that it has to be the reason why you were terminated as a cause for action.